My name is Simina Chen, and uh, welcome to my studio. Uh, today we're going to talk, talk about uh, another special technique uh, with Chinese brush painting, which is called uh, brush ink and the color. Uh, this kind of method is uh, a little special. Uh, it's combined with the traditional method and the free hand brush work. Something like uh, you can pour the ink ink, you can splash ink, or you can splash ink and the color on the paper. It's have many methods, so today I just going to show you one of them. Uh, first, uh, you got the paper ready, uh, put on the table, then in your mind, uh, you have a little bit of think of what you uh, try to do, then use a big brush, uh, Load with the dark ink. Now, I'm going to change it to the little light ink. A little more. As I uh, told you uh, before, this is method is combined with the traditional uh, brush painting technique. So up to this point, I'm going to try and uh, do something regular painting the landscaping. I'm going to add the rock. Use the traditional method to add up rock in here. Because otherwise sometimes people not too clear what you, you, you're doing. So in here I add up the by drawing the brush but brush stroke, regular brush stroke. This way you can clearly see this is a, a big rock here, then you have some more rock around. And uh, so is the, this part. I'm going to use light ink.
big rock or the mountain edge on the side here. And then now I'm going to add a little more flowery mountains. With a little light ink. That's the time you sort of like uh, get the crowd out too. And we have a little bit of slope. So this together, the, you have to combine with something with the rigorous uh, uh, technique. So I'm going to draw the uh, tree with a, draw some tree with a uh, rigorous technique. Then this this part is a little simple one. It's far away. And for the, now I start the color. For the color, the, the tree, you always put the, use the brown color. Just brown the color to the trunk and the branch. Even the far away one, you still have to remember. Then for the front one, I don't do the other color one. And the far away one, I do the leaf. Gumbo with the indigo make the green color. Then I put a little bit of stone green, mix with a little stone green. And for the rock, I use the stone blue. It's a, it can represent the lighting. Sometimes they say, some 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 others say this is the grass. The, the, but sometimes they think it's, it's lighting. So just that's all the imagination. <laughs> sometimes combined with the imagination.
the middle one, I use uh, stone green. So with the far away of mountain, I use a little bit of stone green. And for the slope. I use a little bit of brownie. So I try to add a little something I like. So I'm going to put a, a little bolt here. Don't show too much, so just a little bit here. Uh, so consider this kind of splash star, you can sample it's uh, finish. Uh, the thing is, uh, I use this chance to tell you about the Chinese uh, one thing special. Is they like to put uh, their name and uh, their seal, their painting. Sometimes people even write a poetry. So I just show you a little bit uh, Basic, uh, not a basic rule, just a basic habit that people are supposed to do. So the seal and the signature, the best thing is not to put it in the middle of the painting. You you affect the whole, whole, whole picture. So try not to put it in the, right in the middle. And another thing is to try not to be too big. And you walk by the whole painting. And uh, another thing is uh, I find the space which is empty, not that, not that with the water run, uh, show up water running, and not to show the crowd moving, and and uh, anything stable, little says, so you can put your uh, signature over there, and a lot of put the two two sides so people cannot see up the mountain, people cannot even know where they go, they disappear, so find an uh, empty space. So for me right now. So I think that there's maybe good space. There's a big sky. There's a for bigger sky, big ocean. You you all can put that put your 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 name on. It's okay. Yeah, usually you put on the side on this. You can put it on the rock too. But since this rock is still wet, I cannot really write anything. So I find here. So I just going to put my name here. Put the, my. As I told you, don't don't write it too big, as small as you can. Mm -hmm. So as small as you can. Then I my seal on, and the, the seal is. Uh, Ink is made with the cinema, with the oil. So suppose a thousand, uh, last a thousand years. So you just um, check your right side, make sure. Then, not too close to the name, about the one underneath. Okay, that's a that's a, that that's a seal for them. So this uh, 
some people can write the, you can write the name a uh, uh, age what what the what the year the painting is done uh, that's a t uh, complete uh, to simple painting so of course you can do a lot with it basically the splashy style paintings you have to waste the impression and the expression it's mainly show the mood of the scene instead of of the form of the subject. So our goal is to use a modern creative idea while retaining the spirit of the old, uh, which is an uh, old technique uh, we accomplish by use for our traditional method to paint. So my teacher, Professor Hu, uh, he wrote, see the world through a haze and the landscape through image. So we, we, we wish we all can enjoy and improve, improve them in times. This will finish my last session in landscaping. As most uh, landscaping artists, they like to paint the lotus, which Professor Hu told me too. So if everything goes well, I will show you in a couple months. Thank you for coming. Wish you all the best.